I'm gonna show you how to install Windows 11 on an M3 MacBook Air 13 inch laptop or any Mac M series computer and demonstrate how you can easily switch back and forth between the two operating systems. Subscribe to CNET for more how-to videos. Parallels Desktop version 19 is a powerful virtual desktop application that is authorized by Microsoft to run Windows 11 on Apple M series Macs. You can also run Linux and OS X operating systems. The Windows 11 virtual machine runs just like an app on your Apple computer, and you can leave it running in the background, quickly jumping back and forth between Mac OS and Windows. I'm gonna start with the 14 day free trial version and eventually upgrade to the pro version. Click the link to download the software and follow the prompts. Allow Parallels permission to access files and folders on your MacBook to continue. Parallels requires your permission to access directories to operate correctly on your machine. These include your desktop, documents, and downloads folders. Once you've granted access, click Finish. Now you will see a screen prompting you to download and install Windows 11. You can select other options at the bottom to see the other operating systems available on the Parallels platform including Mac OS and multiple Linux operating systems. I'm going to continue to Windows 11 and select Install Windows. Here you can choose your primary use for what Windows 11 will be used for. Your choices are productivity or games only, and you can change this later on after it's been installed. I'm going with productivity and clicking Continue. Windows 11 will begin downloading onto your machine, and I'm gonna speed up this video so this video isn't 20 minutes long. This should take a few minutes depending on your internet speed, and once it's downloaded, it will start validating the Windows 11 installation. Next, the Parallels Installation Assistant will ask for access to your computer's camera and microphone for use in Windows 11. Once you allow those permissions, you will now see Windows set up installing the Windows 11 operating system just like you would on a Windows computer. Windows 11 will now start looking for updates to ensure that you have the latest version of the OS, and when that process finishes, you will see the welcome screen saying hi, followed by the message, this might take a few minutes, don't turn off your PC. Once the installation process has concluded, Parallels Desktop will ask your permission to allow access to files managed by iCloud Drive, and your installation will finally be complete. Next, Parallels will prompt you to create a Parallels account, which allows you to manage your Parallels product license and subscriptions. Go ahead and create an account, and click continue to read the products and services information, and finally accept the account data privacy notice. Your Parallels account will now be created and the Windows license agreement will pop up. Read the license agreement if you want to and click accept at the bottom of the page and Parallels will display a screen saying Windows 11 successfully installed. To start Windows 11, simply open the Parallels application, push the play button and select continue trial if you're using the free version and now you will be in Windows 11. Next, Parallels will ask your permission to control your computer's accessibility features. Open System Settings to grant permission and toggle on the switch next to Parallels Desktop and type in your computer's password to unlock. The next step is to activate your copy of Windows 11 if you have an activation key, or you can purchase a new license or activate an existing license. To do this, go to the Settings app inside Windows 11 and select System. You can add your product key if you have one by clicking change the product key or get a new license from the Microsoft Store app. Windows 10 slash 11 Pro currently costs $199. I don't have an activation key and I'm not willing to spend the extra money to buy one, so I'm gonna stick with the basic Windows 11 OS in Parallels Desktop 19. When you're in Windows 11, you'll see a menu at the top of the screen where you can change view options. The first option is enter coherence mode which allows you to use Windows 11 apps inside of Mac OS. Windows 11 and Mac OS will run side by side as if your Windows apps were native Mac OS applications. In coherence mode, you can use both Windows and Mac OS applications at the same time without having to switch between two separate desktops. To get out of this mode, go back to view and select exit coherence. The other view options include enter full screen, which will make your MacBook look more like a Windows machine. To get out of full screen mode, move your mouse to the top of the screen to see the menu, go to view, and then exit full screen. 
You can also get out of full screen mode by using a three finger swipe to swipe back to Mac OS. The last option is enter picture in picture, which will shrink your Windows 11 desktop where you can then resize it and move it out of the way while you're working in Mac OS. Windows 11 will remain visible behind Mac OS apps so you know where it is at all times. To get out of it, click exit picture in picture. Under the actions menu, you have options to pause, suspend, shut down or restart Windows 11. And at the bottom of the action menu, you can configure parallel settings. Click configure and under general, you can change what parallels is configured for, but you need to shut down the virtual machine to make changes. Leave the Windows 11 configuration window open and shut down the virtual machine under actions. Now you will be able to configure what you want to use parallels for. I'll change it to gaming only, and then Windows will configure itself to be optimized for playing games and automatically switch to full screen mode. To access the Mac OS dock in the menu bar, you need to press Control plus Alt, which is equivalent to Command plus Option on a Mac. You can also use a three finger swipe to swipe out of full screen mode back to Mac OS. The Windows 11 configuration app also allows you to make changes to options, hardware, security, and backup settings. After you purchase Parallels Desktop, you simply enter the key at the startup window to unlock Windows 11 on your machine. If you found this video helpful, give us a like and subscribe to CNET's massive YouTube channel and check out my past video on how to install Windows on an Intel-based Mac computer. And thanks for watching.